Hi students, our next topic is confidentiality. So what is confidentiality is the characteristic of professionals for keeping certain information of the client's secret confidentially. So this is much needed um, character. For example, in a law firm, if your client is there with you, you have to maintain the secret of client. If you are a doctor, you have to maintain the secret of a patient. So this is confidentiality. So like I said earlier in medicine where the patient's medical information must be kept confidential. If it is deliberate to everyone, if there is enemy to that particular patient, he might have given some law, wrong medicine so he may replace the medicine of a patient with some a wrong medicine if he knows the uh, health history of that patient. In law firm, that is a defense attorney must keep the client's information confidential. So confidential information, the information which is kept a secret is confidential information. Privileged information is there. It is available on the basis of special privilege such as privilege consistent with an employee who is working on a special assignment is privileged information. It includes information that has not yet become to public or known within the organization. A particular person in an organization alone knows that information. That information is called privileged. It is a special honor given to that person who works deliberately and who works for the organization's welfare. Believing that employee, the employer has given the secret information to him alone, that is privileged information. This information is owned by a company, that is proprietary information. This information is owned by a company, it refers to a new knowledge established within the organization that can be legally protected from use by others. No one can use that information that is owned by a company that is proprietary information. So next comes trade secrets. It is given with limited legal protection against employee or contractor abuse. It can be about designs or it can be about the technical process. It might be on plant facilities, quality control methods. It may be on the list of the customers who are under that campaign. So that is a limited legal protection against employee or contractor abuse. That's called as trade secrets. What do you mean by patents? Patents are legally protected. Some products from being manufactured and sold by other competitors without any written permission of the patent holder. No such protection exists in the case of trade secrets. A patent holder has legally protected monopoly power. In case of trade secrets, the legal protection is limited to keeping the relationships of confidentiality and the trust. So patent is different thing. The sole owner is the owner. No one can claim for that product. Need for keeping engineering information confidential. Why we have to keep the engineering information confidential? Because our first and foremost workers, foremost workers to protect the public. If the uh, confidential information is released, then some people who are not willing for peacefulness of the community can misuse that information and cause any damage. So if an information about a product is leaked means competitors may get that and they may capture the market. So 
confidential is very very much important thing in engineering next we are going to study on types of confidential information uh, the first one is obvious information of confidentiality and the second one is information of lesser confidentiality it refers to test data information about the unreleased products design of products formulae for products and technical process of the products and information of lesser confidentiality is it is includes all business informations such as number of employees working on a project the identity of suppliers marketing strategies production cost and production yields so as a continuation of that most of the companies follow strict policy regarding disclosure of business information and make the all the employees to sign in them the engineers working for government in defense industry they have more strict requirements about secrecy interested on them so here comes the justification and limits of confidentiality the confidentiality obligation can be divided into two levels first level and second level the first level is respect for autonomy respect for uh, promises regard for public well being and the second level is it is appeal to the major ethical theories like right based theories duty based theories and utilitarian theories so this is about confidentiality what is confidentiality what are its types what do you mean by confidential information what do you mean by proprietary information trade secrets and what is patents and why engineers need to keep the information confidential and types of confidential information and we concluded with the just uh, justification and limits of confidentiality so thank you students we conclude this here about uh, confidentiality topic and we meet in next lecture thank you